Got it really tight. Dinosaurs, the Brontosaurus, was eating some grass. He was the first dinosaur to set foot on the earth. And there's a picture of the sun, and there's, there he is, and there's the grass. A sea monster was swimming in the sea. He looked up in the sky. He saw a rocket. He knew that there was new land. He told his friends, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Stegosaurus, a mammoth, had found the new land. And there's a train coming along here, and that's because the steam is there from the train, because there's, there's sort of um, sand on the track, and he's squeaking so hard that he's just about to crash into there. And there's... Jeez, okay. Jeez. Did you think? Well, you get this sort of, yes, yes, you don't feel the need to linger, you know, when it's sort of, there's a Doctor Who exhibition and you can just whiz round it in two minutes. Okay. <laughs> I thought long Darling, ripping, disgusting, stinky, you and your weeny, slimy past. Yeah. Let's hope it's for a sight of the Lord himself, we're prancing around the It's not completely oikish like so many attractions are. Hey, 
Make me realise how fortunate we are, and all the more conscious of the trials and sorrows that so many people are suffering, both in this country and around the world. My heart goes out to those whose lives have been blighted by war, terrorism, famine, natural disaster, or economic hardship. We observe, it has indeed been a somber year. We try to bring that happiness to others. God bless you all. Thank you. No, that's not for you. That's from you to Cookie, that one. Which one? This one? No. Yes, that one's for you. For me? Yes. I think, should we put the Thunderbird 2 down here by my pad?
8 in the morning. Are you watching the telly? Yeah. After breakfast, Zeppi had some wonderful presents and he had the space shuttle. Can you show it, Zeppi? Well, if it goes over by Michael, I think we could see it better. All right. Can you show us? Oops. How does it go? How does it go? Can you tell me about it, Zepp? What? Can you tell me about it? <laughs> His birthday was really wonderful weather, and the sun was shining. Outside in the garden, the fountain was playing. So everybody was having drinks. Richard and Andrea came for lunch, and it was really, really nice. Unwrapping now, love. What is it? Another present. You lucky old thing. Uh, yes. and like Andrea that. was explaining oh, yes. what the present was. You've got to, um, be careful because if you break any of the bits, they won't fit properly when you come to make it. Mm -hmm. there. Chris was telling him to be careful as well. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he has a great many bits. And Richard was showing him exactly what it was. There should be a glue. Is there a glue? No, not uh, one paint. Yes, there is. Okay. Everybody seemed to be helping Zeppi undo this one. It looked like yeah. something very interesting. Something. Alice's quite complicated. Let's have a look. Funny that. <laughs> yes. Andrea. Yes. I can do a cup, young. Can you? Yes. You can practice thing? Yes. A proper cup. Wonderful lunch. Uh, it was such a good weather today. We don't, we don't start yet. And the best of summer. And then, because you brought the cake out. So if you didn't really want us to sing happy birthday. Zippy is getting ready to blow his candles out because Chris is lighting them and any minute now I think he's going to start blowing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zippy. Happy birthday to you. Did you make the first cut and make a wish? Nine years old! It's unbelievable. Can someone believe pass it. me a plate for Michael, please? Yes! That's where now. to start! Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my God! Oh, wow! Well. Monsters? Monsters? What? No, it says me. Miss. Mysterious White. After lunch, Mysterious they had a white. treasure hunt. <laughs> the next clue took them right down to the, the white car. What did it say? Warm and clean, it says. One. It's my oh my word! We made these too easy! We made these too easy! Yes, I've made them! Yes, let's go and have a look. Let's go and see. What's the There's one for you, specially! Take your own one! Michael's! Michael was the first one to find his treasure! Is it? Am I going to. What's it for? What is it, Michael? A water pistol. Hey, oh, great! Ooh. What have you got? What is it? For me. <laughs> Darling, open and show us. What is it, mister? 
Do you know what it is, darling? It's a water pistol, I think. To shoot water at all your friends. Well, we've got a water pistol in the treasure hunt. It was a lovely day. It was 80 in the shade and they all started having a water fight. It was so hot and the water pistol was exactly the right. Exactly the right. Show me how you do it. Right. That's what we do. Show me how it squirts then. Okay. Okay. Right Whee! Terrific. Water pistol. And Richard was in the pool. And they really had a fight. <laughs> Doesn't it, Chris? It does. It was really brilliant. Sort of Show me. Nozzle. I see, that's a spray nozzle. And that's described as the ordinary nozzle. Oh, wow. That's described as the... Oh, that's the best one by far. Spray from the video camera. <laughs> ah! I didn't get very much water. No. Oh, help. And the children were in the pool. There was water absolutely everywhere. After lunch, Alice went indoors to be fitted for her bridesmaid outfit. Andrew was making the frock, I think, and she fitted Alice and arranged the skirt nicely. I think the hem needed to go up a little, didn't it? How long would you like? You want it on the, almost on the floor? You like long frocks? Alice, what do you think about your frock? Can you tell me? I had a lovely day. And at the very end, Crispian, I think, is reading a story along here. I'm sure I can hear him reading. Like the sirens, the trap passing ships. Yes, there is. As the ship went by, Scylla, a six headed monster, reached out her long arms and, uttering a curious yelping sound, clawed six sailors from the deck and devoured them. Huge quantities of water into her enormous mouth and then spew it out again so that the channel between the rocks seethed and whirled, drawing down into the depths even the mighty... They felt their stern dragged around. For several long minutes it seemed that they too would be sucked down. Somehow, however, they passed safely through. <laughs> Farm for some tennis lessons as well with Kenneth and Zeki is doing his volleys and Ali as well. Gabriel was running up to the net for his volley and Kenneth was just oh, oh, missed it there. Good one, Zep. Good one, Gabriel. Good one, Zep. Well done, Gabes. That's nice. Okay, we're doing quite a lot of practice of all this at the net. And everybody was trying hard. It was their fourth day, so they've had quite a lot of practice by now. We went up to Gard Lee because the children were going to stay with Guy and Avril. And we got there just in time for lunch, and Guy was there to meet us. <laughs> the annual route back here is doing quite well around the pond. Mm. Oh yes, and the um, and the gladiators aren't they? Dad. What's that one for feathery? Purpley feathery. Uh, red ochre, ochre, um, ochre, red oak. The garden was looking wonderful. There was a statue in the pond, and Guy was showing Adrian the border. And Jumble was listening. It was really absolutely marvellous. You don't often see a garden quite so colourful. Plants as well. That was absolutely wonderful. Zeppi was playing with his space shuttle there. Mummy! Hello, Angel. What can I see? We're going to see if it fits on Grand's track. Oh, uh, isn't that fantastic? 
<laughs> we went off to Avonfall Abbey for an all pulled wedding. Is enormous it goes on and on people were gathering by the abbey steps for what is going to be called something different Everybody's ready. Downstairs, we're going to have the line, but we'll see the new one. 